Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about a new feature uh, which was released during um, November 2023, which is a slicer. So under this visualization pane, you can see this slicer which is a new so this is called new uh, button slicer so let's see how this slicer will behave okay so i'm taking one simple data set which is a flipkart data so i'm having all the related columns here like category product sales related to the flipkart sales and i do have one more table called subcategory where i'm having all the subcategories and corresponding image link also for that okay so these two tables will be using here so here you can see one simple table which is showing you the category wise what all the subcategories available within these three categories which is furniture office supplies and technology and the quantity of products as well as how much is the sales made okay now whatever the subcategory i select the data should get filtered accordingly so to slice the data only we will be using slicer right so let's see how this new slicer is uh, having different features okay so i'm just clicking this new slicer which is released in the recent month so i'm taking this now how i want to filter the data or slice the data based on the subcategory column so I'm just taking this subcategory here into the field. Okay. So as soon as I drag and drop subcategory, you can see how the slicer is appearing. Okay. So let's go into the settings of this slicer and try to explore what all new features are available for this new slicer. So for that, let's go to this format option. In format option, if you go to slicer settings, you can see single select or force selection and show select all. It means you will also get select all extra option and there is something called force selection as well. And then you have a shape, whether you want this as a rectangle or you want it as a rounded rectangle. So you can choose this accordingly. You can even uh, choose this rounded corners as well. Then you also have a layout uh, alignment, how you want this alignment, how many rows you want, how many columns you want. You can specify like this, four rows and four columns. So the data will appear, uh, uh, the slicer uh, will appear accordingly. and. Um, you also have something called images. So go to the images and in images you can see add field. So we all we already have this images URL, right? So I'll add this URL here under this field. So now you can see, right, how this slicer is looking with all the images as well as the values, right, which is there in the subcategory column. So that values also you are seeing as well as images also you are seeing. So you have an option, fit option, you have fill option. So you can select accordingly, normal as well. Transparency, you can increase, decrease. So all these options you have available. And there is also call out values. So for this text also, how it has to appear, you can select the font, style, size, everything accordingly. And you can align this. So now you can choose your subcategory. So whatever the subcategory you are selecting, so the related data you can see here. Like that if you choose, you can choose this accordingly. Select all if you give, you will see all the data. So all these options are available where you can add an image, you can change the layout, all these options are available. And also one more thing, you also have this state, default state hover. So when you hover what color it should be, when you press it what color it should be, so you can choose the colors accordingly. So if I hover on something, then I can see some different color. So you can increase the transparency, decrease the transparency, all the settings. You can explore this data labels, you have state, you have um, images option, you have position, you have, and there is something called buttons. In buttons also, you have this border, fill, uh, shadow, you can apply glow. So all these options you can select accordingly. Narrow, custom, state also you can select default. When, when it is selected, what all the other options you need to provide. So you can choose this. And then uh, label also you have an option here. 
so under the labels also you can add the field if you have anything and overflow also is there continuous scroll and paginated so now if you see this slicer right you are seeing some option here right you are seeing the scroll uh, so you have this 16 uh, category sub category so you are seeing this scroll if you don't want this as a scroll bar and you wanted this as a page in the overflow style you can also choose page dated now if you see it's like a page and if you click on this you will go to next page and again if you click here you will come back this so you can choose accordingly and there is also something called uh, overflow direction which is vertical or horizontal so if you select horizontal the page scroll will be like towards horizontal side and if you select this vertical it will be something like this so these are the two options available in the overflow style which is page rated and continuous scroll so so in normal slicer when we are using the normal slicer right this is the option under the visualization pane you can see the normal slicer in normal slicer you don't have this many options available whereas in the new slicer which has been released in november 2023 we have an option to provide this uh, data labels you when the when you hover it when you select multi select how the color should appear you can add the images you can change the view so uh, please comment if you like this and uh, thanks for watching this we'll come back with some different topic thank you